If you injure yourself, then you'll be able to describe that you were hurt through numerous ways. Those are all signals or cues that you are hurt and need to do something about it. In medicine, we use more than one clue that tells us that the liver, an important organ in our body, is hurting and that we must do something about it in order to improve our health. That's what this lesson will be discussing. The liver is a big manufacturing plant that produces a lot of stuff. One important thing it makes is a protein called albumin. Albumin is responsible for transporting certain medicines you might have to take, waste products, and hormones. As if that wasn't important enough, if there was no albumin, you'd also look very swollen because albumin's presence in the blood keeps fluid from leaving your blood vessels and into your tissues. Albumin is like a sponge. It sucks in water and keeps it in the blood vessels. And just like a sponge can carry all sorts of little microscopic particles within it, like minerals, bacteria, and the like, so too does albumin carry the things I mentioned before. If abnormally low amounts of albumin are found in the blood, something termed hypoalbuminemia, then this can clue us into the fact that some sort of severe or long-standing liver damage has occurred, resulting in decreased albumin production. Of course, a factory, our liver, that's in trouble throws us more than one clue that something is wrong. Decreased manufacturing capabilities resulting in low albumin is just one clue that the factory isn't working properly. But factories use machines, furnaces, and people to convert a raw material into a finished product. If something goes wrong with the machines, furnaces, or people, then smoke, fire, and loud screams may come from our factory to indicate a problem. The machines, furnaces, and people in the liver are known as enzymes, proteins that speed up biochemical reactions. If the liver is sick, then it releases these enzymes into the bloodstream in larger than normal quantities. Their levels, these signals of liver injury, can then be measured with blood tests. If they are elevated, they may indicate primary liver disease, such as cirrhosis, hepatic congestion, or hepatitis. Two of these enzymes that are measured for this purpose are AST, aspartate aminotransferase, and ALT, alanine aminotransferase, both of which have normal blood values of approximately 0 to 35 units per liter. Also, AST was known as SGOT, and ALT used to be called SGPT. I decided to let you know that just in case you decided to read a medical text from the 1970s, then you'll know what those things mean in modern terms or in certain countries that still use those abbreviations. But just remember AST and ALT for our lesson. Other than AST and ALT, there is an enzyme called ALP technically called alkaline phosphatase, whose normal range in the blood is approximately 30 to 120 units per liter. Sometimes it's colloquially called ALK-FOS between medical personnel. It's much easier to say it that way since it's shorter than saying alkaline phosphatase and doesn't get confused with other abbreviations phonetically like ALP may be when pronounced really quickly. Elevations in elk foss are associated with biliary tree, aka biliary tract, obstruction. Knowing this, you should use our medical slang, elk foss, to your advantage. Think of the O in elk foss as an indicator of obstruction. If you weren't aware already, bile is a fluid that helps to digest fat. It is produced by the liver cells, known as hepatocytes. Once they produce bile, they secrete this bile into a system of channels and ducts, termed the biliary tree, which eventually empties out into the small intestine's duodenum. Anything that obstructs this outflow or hepatocyte secretion of bile results in improper outflow of bile from the liver, something known as cholestasis. Therefore, elk foss is an indicator of this cholestasis. Intrahepatic within the liver causes of cholestasis include biliary cirrhosis, alcoholic liver disease, cancer such as lymphoma, and viral hepatitis among many others. Extrahepatic outside the liver proper cholestasis can be induced by gallstones in the common bile duct, stricture, narrowing, 
of the bile duct. Pancreatitis, inflammation of the pancreas, which squeezes the bile duct shut in some cases, or tumors of the bile duct, and many more. People with cholestasis may sometimes experience extreme pruritus, aka itching, as a result of bile salt deposition in their skin. Of course, the biliary tree obstruction may conversely, with time, damage the liver cells as well. This will then result in elevations of ALT and AST, but less so than ALKFOS. On the other hand, ALKFOS will rise in primary liver disease, but the ALT and AST will be elevated much more so. So, in cholestasis, our factory, the liver, may actually be working properly, but its products get backed up like crazy because the outflow of the product from the factory is impeded, creating a dangerous work environment. There's one last thing I'd like to get into quickly before ending this lesson. All of the enzymes, including AST, ALT, and ALKFOS, can be found in places outside of the liver. Some of these enzymes can be increased as a result of heart disease, bone damage, muscle damage, and much more. Therefore, they're not always specific to liver or biliary tree issues. That is why looking for increases in other enzymes, such as GGT, or increases in bilirubin, decreases in albumin, and clinical signs like jaundice, is important for piecing together the entire puzzle in order to narrow down the list of problems to the liver itself. Finally, there is a common misnomer that AST, ALT, and ALKFOS are liver function tests. They're not. They may be called this, but erroneously so. You should realize based on this lesson that they measure injury to the liver cells or bile ducts, not their function. As a quick review, we measure the extent of liver or biliary injury through three main tests. They are AST, aspartate aminotransferase, ALT, alanine aminotransferase, and ALP, technically called alkaline phosphatase. ALP is going to be increased more so than the other two in cases of improper outflow of bile from the liver, something known as cholestasis. On the flip side, AST and ALT will be increased more than ALKFOS in primary hepatocellular disease.